Next, we're going to discuss the hidden terminal problem. I plotted here four stations, A, B, C, and D. And A and C, both A and C want to transmit, and what you see here is their transmission radius. So A wants to transmit to B, and B is within its transmission radius. C wants to transmit to D, and it is also within its transmission radius. So is B. However, A and C cannot hear each other. What happens is that, suppose that A senses the channel, see that it is not occupied, and start transmission to B. Now C comes in, sends the channel, since it cannot hear A, it sees that it is clear and starts transmitting to D. What's going to happen is that B would not be able to uh, understand A's transmission because C acts as a noise which disturbs reception. This is called the hidden terminal problem, and the next operation mode of 802.11 tries to solve this problem. The 802.11 virtual channel sensing mode comes to solve the hidden terminal problem. When, a, when terminal A sends the channel to be idle, it starts transmitting an RTS, request to send signal. This is a short signal that tells everybody, I captured the channel. B is the destination, hear the request to send, and send a clear to send signal, meaning I don't hear any other transmission, you can please go ahead. Because we can have a situation where some hidden terminal, say D, is transmitting and A cannot uh, listen to it, cannot uh, hear it. After receiving clear to send, A starts transmitting the data. Notice that now, since C and D both got the request to send, either the request to send or the clear to send, they refrain from using the channel for a period called LAV, or Network Allocation Vector. Thus, A is assured that no hidden terminal can disturb its data transmission to B, solving this important problem.